another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Business Herb Dean right. is our referee right. tonight. Right. So with Curtis Blades, he has been quick on pursuit of the takedown and past UFC appearances, but how will he approach this challenge here tonight? His striking has improved leaps and bounds since his UFC debut. He figures to be bringing a lot of different weapons to the table here tonight. Grips the body there. Another hook connected there by Curtis Blades. Just touching him with the jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Good body shot. Evans gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Just out of range with that right hand. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Evans. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? It's just one minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon, and they were going to fight. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. And now is where things could get really interesting. Blades making these ground strikes count. Watch, 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 watch. 
You gotta be careful here. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Evans. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Oh! oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Blades. Nice. Blades is back in full mount. This is a terrible position. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Under a minute to go in round one. You need to work. I'll stand this up. It works. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Blades. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's hard to swell. Blades is really pressing now, and he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Evans is cheap. Saved by the bell. There is the final horn. He was getting stop, grounded. Stop, stop. He was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. They're confident over there. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! Lead kick is true there by Curtis Blades. tonight as the most decorated heavyweight takedown artist in UFC history. All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. 
Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hands back, hip heights up, back to your feet. Now we're back to fight. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Curtis Blades. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Relentless pressure from the top by Blades. Evans' body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. While the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Curtis Blades. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Get the ball here. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Nice positional control here. Oh, big elbow from top position. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Blades. Changing the position. It's Holy! Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is it. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Curtis Razor! Well, what a moment and what a victory for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. A lot of people wondered as the challenges got stiffer, how would Blades respond? He responded in kind.